can remember exactly where I was when I first heard about crypto market cycles. It was in my bedroom and it was 2019. Crypto markets were totally down. And a lot of people thought that crypto would never become a thing. Like even today's bulls like Mark Cuban, uh, Mr. Wonderful totally did not believe in it. But I, I watched a video from Chris Dunn and he explained why crypto follows a predictable cycle. Now this was mind blowing to me. This felt like a, a license to print money because he was saying effectively that Bitcoin's lows and highs were predictable within a few months. And if you followed it from a, taking a step back, you could make money quite easily. And what I watched happen, first hand I traded, but also what I watched like with astonishment over the last market cycle, so from 2019 all the way through to 21, 22, was it following it to a T. And it following the, basically the four-year cycle to a T. So Bitcoin follows a four-year cycle. And this is because... Uh, every four years, the amount of Bitcoin released onto the market halves. This is called the Bitcoin halving. And when this happens, there is such a shock on the market that everybody buys. And the Bitcoin halving event is, instigates a multi-month bull run right afterwards. So this is huge. No one about this is amazing. Where we are now until 2025, we are almost certainly in a bull market now until then. And it's going to somewhat go continuously up. Obviously, it's going to go down for months. But when you think it's, when you view it afterwards from a step back, it's going to be a bull market the whole way through. So this is super exciting. And yeah, um, I remember sitting in my room and I was baffled because it made sense. It made total sense. Every market follows a cycle. And because crypto and Bitcoin is such a new asset, it follows a cycle to such an exaggerated extent. So the lows are so low. The highs are so high. That to make money isn't actually that tough in it. Every cycle follows, every uh, commodity like gold follows a cycle. But maybe what happens in Bitcoin over four years and over and in such an exaggerated manner happens in gold over a decade and in such a slow manner where it's, it's barely visible. So yeah, if you're interested in crypto market cycles, I wrote a book on it because I was absolutely fascinated by it. And it has to be the coolest topic in the world, in my view. So yeah, definitely check it out.